How's it going guys? It's Chris here and in this video we'll be talking about the binary and denary number systems. We're going to be looking at bits and bytes, the structure of a binary number, what each 0 and 1 means and exactly why a computer uses them. So let's get started with bits and bytes. You've probably heard of bits before. They're simply a binary digit. Just as decimal digits, which are digits we use every day, which can be 0, 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, or 9. Binary digits can be a 0 or a 1. A byte is simply 8 of these bits. That's it. Keep this noted down as we move ahead. You have probably heard of binary and that it's the foundation of computers, which is certainly correct. Our computers use electricity to work. And when electricity runs through a CPU, the millions of bits inside the CPU will be set to 1 if electricity runs through it, and 0 if it doesn't. Before we crack on with binary, we need to take a quick look into the decimal system, which we may also refer to as the denary system. In our modern world, and the world that you've grown up in, you have most likely only been exposed to one type of number system, the denary system, which we call base 10. The reason we say the denary system is base 10 is because we use 10 numbers for the system. 0, 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, and 9. What do we do when we want to represent a number greater than 9? We just start from 0 and reuse the 1, but position it to the left of 0 to make 10. So we have a new column, which we know as our tens column, Let's talk a bit more about columns to help us understand the number system a bit better. As you know from your early maths career, in the denary system, we have the units column, tens column, hundreds column, thousands column, and so on and so forth. But what determines the values for these column headers? These can be defined by a rule which applies to all number systems. The first column, i.e. the most right column in any number system, will be the base of the number to the power of 0. You'll find that anything to the power of 0 is 1. So the first column for any number system is just 1. The next column will be the base of the number to the power of 1. The one after that will be the base of the number to the power of 2. Then we'll have the base of the number to the power of 3, and so on and so forth. So if we apply this to denary, which of course is base 10, we're going to have the following. 10 to the power of 0, which as we said earlier, is just 1. 10 to the power of 1, which is 10. 10 to the power of 2, which is 100. And 10 to the power of 3, which is 1,000. So our column headers in denary, reading from right to left, are 1, 10, 100, and 1,000. This is how we get our column headers in denary. What you may have noticed about these columns is that each new column is 10 times greater than the one to its right. This is of course due to the fact that the first column was 10 to the power of 0, the next is 10 to the power of 1, and so on and so forth, which means that each new column is 10 times greater than the one that came before it. To clarify this, we can see that the tens column is 10 times greater than the units column, the hundreds column is 10 times greater than the tens column, and the thousands column is 10 times greater than the hundreds column. Suppose we filled these base two columns like so. This means our byte is 10110010. We've got eight binary digits now. In order to make some sense of this number and read it as a decimal number, we simply do what we did before. We multiply the column by the number in the column and then add them all up. Multiplying by 1 and 0 is easy, which makes this process a bit simpler than you might think. So we have 1, 128, 0, 64s, 132, 116, 08, 0, 04s, 1, 2, and 0, 1s. If we add these all up, we'll get 178. Therefore, 1011010 in binary 
is 178 in denary. And we're done. Let's have a quick recap. Denary is the number system that you are already familiar with and use every day. You can just think of denary as normal numbers. Denary is base 10, meaning the rightmost column represents ones because 10 to the power of zero is one. The column to the left of that is tens because 10 to the power of one is 10 and so on. Binary works in exactly the same way, except it is base two. So the rightmost column is two to the power of zero, which is one. So that's a ones column. The column to the left of that is two to the power of one, which is two. So that's a twos column. The column after that is two to the power of two, which is four. So that's a fours column. You calculate the value of the numbers for both systems in exactly the same way. Multiply each digit in a number by its column value and add them all up. You do this all the time in your day-to-day -day life. You have been using the Denary number system for ages and you probably didn't even realise.